Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another live swatching video. Today is going to be super fun. It's the first time we are ever swatching this brand and it's even more fun because this is a rebrand. I'm talking about Marlena Stell's Makeup Geek Cosmetics. Marlena was so sweet to send me these palettes. I did not expect to get her PR. I'm just like super honored. I've, oh, I got a little choked up there for a second. I have been just absolutely like in love with Marlena since I first started my channel on YouTube and I'd love to just have a minute really quickly just to congratulate Marlena on all the good things in her life. I'm gonna cry. Listen, Marlena deserves the freaking world. She is such an angel and she's been through so much and she's having a baby and she's mixing it up with her brand and I'm just so excited for her, like literally. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I get so choked up. I just wanna say I adore you, Marlena. I'm so happy for you and I'm so proud of you and everything you've overcome and all your accomplishments and I just wish you nothing but the best year you've just ever had and I cannot wait to see that baby. <laughs> So pop it out quick. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, let me, I'm sorry. I gotta stop or I'll keep crying. But Makeup Geek Cosmetics has just had a little rebrand and I have two of the palettes here. I also have some false lashes and I wanted to live swatch the eyeshadows today and I'm really excited because we've never live swatched anything from Makeup Geek before. This is a new thing for us and look at these shadows. My God, they're beautiful. This is a lot of eyeshadows, you guys. What is this? Like 52 eyeshadows, I think. So between the two palettes. So I'm gonna try to run through this really, really quickly, much more quickly than usual and I'll have all the information linked down below for you guys. I also do have an affiliate code so I will link that down below for you guys to use if you wish. No pressure. You don't have to use it and we're going to try to run through this really really quickly because you'll be here all day. So let's first start with the matte eyeshadows and then we will get into the more colorful shadows. Before we get started I wanted you to have a good close-up look at all of these eyeshadows. Look at those beautiful colors. We have cool tones. We have warm tones. This row right here, this last row, has me just going bananas. I I love those tones. And I think I'd like to live swatch these in their color family. If you notice, they're all kind of broken up by color story, almost similar to like the Tati palette. So I would like to just go ahead and keep going down the row like that so we can kind of keep those shades in mind, keep the tones in mind and, you know, see what we like. The first shadow we are trying is called So Pale. Oh, super soft. And it is exactly what it is named. <laughs> it's a very, very pale cream. Nicely pigmented though. You can really build it up. Great for all over the lid, on the brow bone, or on the inner corners for a highlight. Super, super simple. So there is the shade So Pale. The next shade is called Vanilla Bean. This one looks to have a little more beige in it, not quite as pale. I mean, it's still pale. It's a light cream, but definitely more of a beige tone in there. And there is the shade Vanilla Bean. Next we have the shade Shimma Shimma, and this one just like makes me smile. I don't know why, I guess it brings back memories. And you guys know this, it's just a really soft, very, very light creamy beige with the sweetest little satiny finish. Not super metallic or anything, but it's a really pretty, very subtle shimmer. A Shimma Shimma, if you will. <laughs> so there's the shade Shimma Shimma. Next up we have the shade Banana Split. These shadows are so, so soft, you guys. So go into them very gently with your brush. Don't press super, super hard because they are super buttery and super duper soft. You could break them easily. This is nice. This is just a nice yellowy cream color. Nicely, nicely pigmented. This is probably my favorite of the creams. Look at that, simple enough. So there is Banana Split. We're getting into some smoky grays now. This shadow is called Bedrock. Whoa, pigmented. My goodness, I didn't expect it to go on so opaque like right away. Sometimes grays can be a little tricky. Absolutely gorgeous, really soft, very pigmented. There is the shade Bedrock. The next shade is called Clean Slate. Ugh, so smoky. I love this one because it actually has like a little warmth to it if my eyes are not deceiving me. Guys, oh my God, look at that pigment. Marlena, how dare you? <laughs> so beautiful and you guys know I do not love gray tones by any means but wow I love this this is so sexy and you know what I love about it is I normally like if I'm gonna do a dark all over eyelid smoky eye it's either gonna be black or it's gonna be dark chocolatey brown I never thought to do like a color like this and maybe it's because I didn't have one wow clean slate huge thumbs up the next shade is called take for granite Oh my goodness, I can't get over how pigmented these are. These are really beautiful. This formula is superb. I mean, I've always loved the Makeup Geek formulas, but I am just really excited about these. <sighs> so deep and smoky, absolutely gorgeous. There is the shade Take For Granite. 
The next shade is Smoke Signal. This is the last one in that gray row. I can't tell if this is meant to be their black. Oh, yes it is, I believe. In the pan, it looked a little bit light to me, but now when I see it on the eyes, I believe it is a black. I've seen blacker blacks, but this will do. You know I'm very passionate about my black eyeshadows. <laughs> They're like the most important eyeshadow to me, so I'm very picky. For me, I would like it a little bit darker if this is meant to be their black, but it is a nice black. I just can't tell if it's meant to be like an extremely like dark, dark charcoal or if it is in fact their black shadow. I can't tell. It's just a little light to me for a black. But once you use it in the crease, I mean, you really can't tell. So there is the shade Smoke Signal. All right, the next row is more kind of taupey browns. This shade is Beach Please. Oh, isn't that soft and pretty? Mm. I think you guys would be absolutely thrilled with these eyeshadows. Oh my goodness, that is just so sweet and soft. I'm not one for cool tones, but I will say, this one's kind of winning my heart over. So there is the shade Beach Please. All right, I'm kind of obsessed with this shade name. This is called Latte As Usual. Oh, I love this color. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. A really, really happy medium brown. I love this all over the lid. It's simple, but it's like simple sexy. You know what I mean? So there is the shade Latte as usual. The next shade is called Espresso Yourself. I love a good deep dark brown. Of course, the pigment is exceptional. Super opaque, super bold, super buttery, and absolutely stunning true espresso brown. So there is the shade Espresso Yourself. The next shade is called Dark Roasted. Ooh, super dark roasted. I'm telling you, these browns just keep getting better and better. Like it looks like ink or something, you know what I mean? It is so deep, so rich, just perfect. Wow, simple, yes, but absolutely gorgeous. So there is the shade Dark Roasted. The next shade we have is Creme Brulee. Now we're getting into a warm toned row. <sighs> I love Creme Brulee. I actually hate the food Creme Brulee. I love this color though. It's super soft, again, really, really sexy, but really, really light. An absolutely stunning transition shade or perfect for all over the eye. I hate that I don't have better words. We've just not run into one shadow that had any problems yet. They've been fantastic. So there is the color Creme Brulee. The next shade is called Honey Badger. Oh my goodness, love, love Honey Badger. It is so rich, you guys, oh my gosh. Listen, glitter is amazing all day, but oh, don't you just love mattes sometimes? Mm. I am so excited for Marlena right now. I'm just so excited for her. She must be so excited. Like just knowing you're about to drop like some bomb ass makeup, excuse my language, like she must be so excited. I'm so excited for her, this is beautiful. Yeah, no words, Honey Badger, gorgeous. The next shade is called Cheetah Bear. Oh, it's so beautiful. And the best part is we're only in like the matte palette right now. We haven't gotten into the bright colorful palette just yet. So this is nothing but just exciting. What can you even say? What can you even say with a shadow this beautiful? Oh my gosh, Cheetah Bear. The next shade is called Chocolate Wasted. Oh, it is so deep, so pigmented, so opaque. Marlena, you have outdone yourself, girlfriend. I mean, these feel like Inglot shadows to me. It's crazy. It's so smoky, just smoky, smoky goodness. So there is the shade Chocolate Wasted. Getting into the purples, this shade is Prim and Proper. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a little more lavender, but it has a nice, nice, soft, dusty rose to it. And you guys know how I feel about my dusty roses. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this as a transition tone or even all over the eyes. So there is the shade Prim and Proper. This next shade is called Blushing Beauty. Oh, this is nice. Nice deep mauve. Oh, I love these colors, you guys. I really am so, so pleased. I was nervous. I didn't want to like rain on Marlena's parade. I was like almost a little terrified to do this video in case I ended up like hating the shadows. It would break my heart and I'd feel really bad. And I am so pleased that they are freaking amazing. And I literally have nothing but good things to say. This is absolutely gorgeous. So here is the shade Blushing Beauty. The next shade is called Vintage. Oh my goodness, this is so much deeper than I was expecting it to be. Super, super, super deep. Now, this is a purple that I like. It's like a mature purple. That is super, super sexy. Hats off to you, Marlena, amazing. So that is the shade Vintage. The next shade is Americano. By the beard of Zeus. You guys know how much I love a deep smoky shade and this is deep, deep, deep. How, what color? It's like a fusion between like a purple and like a deep charcoal or I don't know. I guess it's just a really, really deep eggplant, like really deep though, super deep. So dark and smoky, so awesome. Oh my gosh, Marlena, 
you animal. These are beautiful. It's beautiful. Anyway, there is the shade Americano. Now we're getting into more of the maroony row. This shade is called Cupcake. So freaking rich and pigmented. You guys, I need to buy myself a thesaurus. Is that what it's called? Clearly I really need one if I don't even know what it's called. But I'm like running out of descriptive words and I don't want to sound boring and repetitive to you guys, but like they've all been so beautiful. But it's gorgeous. So there is the shade Cupcake. The next shade is called Getting Figgy With It. <laughs> I think all my time just being alone all day long while well, Luke works extreme hours and I just sit here talking to a camera has made me a little out there. <laughs> This is so rich and deep. Any burgundy lovers out there, you will simply swoon over this shade. <sighs> What's another word other than beautiful or stunning or gorgeous? Superb. It's superb. The next shade is called Bitten. I caramba. Oh my god, I feel like the either the world's sexiest cranberry or the world's like sexiest vampire. The world's sexiest red wine. Many, many options, but I will say this color is getting my heart pumping for Valentine's Day with my husband for the first year. We're gonna do it. No, okay. <laughs> that was wildly inappropriate. Anyway, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Getting a little delirious. It's a beautiful, deep, matte burgundy. Super, super pretty. Next, we have the shade Give Me the Dirt. This one looks super deep and right up my alley. Whoa, what color is that even? A really rich, kind of red-toned, extremely dark brown. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like almost black. In fact, I would say this is like even more blacker than the shade that I thought was black. Smoke Signal, I think it was called. This is like even deeper. Holy goodness gracious. Honestly, I just think it looks black to me, but I know it's not meant to be black. I think it's meant to be more plummy, more red, and it probably is, but to me, just like with my own eyes, it looks pretty black, but I really love it. It's so smoky. You guys know I would love it. <laughs> We're in the very last row, you guys, of this palette anyway. This is called Had Me at Yellow. Oh, this is nice. Just a soft matte, kind of yellowy camel brown, I would say. Perfect for a nice little transition tone or all over the lid or, I mean, whatever, whatever you're vibing with. As they've all been so far, it has amazing pigmentation. It looks awesome. I could see myself using this all the time throughout my crease. So there is the shade Had Me At Yellow. The next shade is called Tiki Hut. Oh, wow. That's deeper than I thought it was going to be. And it's a more unique color. I don't think I have a lot of browns this kind of tone. It's definitely got that yellowy base in it. It's a little peculiar, a little dingy, right up my alley. I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. This is probably one of my favorite browns of this whole little palette here. The next shade is called Deja Brew. Ooh, I love these browns so much. I mean, every shade has been beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I'm a sucker for good browns and the browns in this palette have been like my favorite out of anything, I swear. This is more of like a chocolatey espresso, not quite as deep as the espresso yourself, but I think this one's a little warmer and just a little bit lighter. Super, super cute. We could use this a ton. So there is the shade Deja Brew. I love these shade names so much. The last one in this palette is called Coffee Before Talkie. My thoughts exactly. Oh my goodness. This is deep, deep, deep. This is like legit dark espresso coffee grounds. Like legit. I can't get over how pigmented these shadows have been. That is so deep. And like instantly. My goodness gracious. That is fantastic. I will use this a ton in my outer crease. I love a dark smoky brown. So there is coffee before Taki. Are you guys ready to get into the next palette, the colorful palette? By the way, if you can't tell, it is a new day. <laughs> These swatches were so exhausting last night, I had to go to bed and start fresh today. So that's what the different hair is about. Anyway, look at this beauty. This is what we'll be swatching next. A lot more shimmer, a lot more color, and I am excited. So let's get started. The first shade is Illuminati. Ooh. This is pretty, a really pale green. Wow, you guys, these are so pigmented. Oh my goodness. That is crazy, crazy pretty. So, so gorgeous. There is the shade Illuminati. The next shade is Medieval. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I don't even think I have a blue like this from ColourPop. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> There's a lot, so don't quote me, but this is nice. I love that it's bright, but it still has a bit of like a kind of darker smoky element to it. I don't know, it's really interesting. Ugh, just gorgeous nonetheless. So there is the shade Medieval. The next shade is Daydreamer. 
I'm excited for this one. Oh, oh my God, this is cool. It's kind of lavender and there's like a little bit of like a baby blue glow to it. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I don't even think the camera will show how beautiful it truly is. In person, it's just like, whoa. <laughs> this so far, oh my gosh, it's so hard to choose. I'm really gonna love this palette. I can't choose favorites, but I really, really love this one. The next shade that we have is Whimsical. Ooh, so icy. These shimmers are fantastic. They really have a good glow. I thought it was gonna be a little more lavender, but it's almost more like a pale pink. Very, very bright. You could use this to highlight freaking anything. So there is the shade Whimsical. The next shade is Starry Eyed. Oh, wow. These are so like foily. I guess that's why they're the foiled shadows. <laughs> this is like a beautiful satin color. Reminds me of like a satin slip or like a satin bed sheet. This one as well, it could be used as a beautiful highlight on the skin. <laughs> the next shade is In the Spotlight. Oh, I love this one. It's a beautiful peachy foil, a little salmon-y. We always use fruits to describe shadows, don't we? Or I should say I do. <laughs> I notice that in my videos when I'm editing. I'm like, wow, I compare everything to food, go figure. I absolutely adore this color. This is gorgeous. This might be my most favorite one out of the past three that we've tried. This one I love. So there is the shade in the spotlight. The next shade is a legend. Mine got a little crumbled in shipment. So sorry, it looks a little funny. I tried to press it back together. Ah, you know I love my coppers. I actually really like this one because it's a little more wearable than a lot of colors we see like this from other brands. Sometimes they're like a little too fiery, but I really like this one. Ah, oh, gorge, like a shiny penny. There is the shade Legend. The next shade is All of You. Now we're getting back into the mattes. Gosh, these are pigmented. They are so pig, like right on application. They are so pigmented. And it is a beautiful olive green. I think it's a little brighter than the traditional olive greens we see, which I really like. I cannot wait to use this eyeshadow in a look. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful olive, very pigmented. So there is the shade All of You. Just like in the last palette, now that the shimmers are over, I would like to keep within the color family, so we'll kind of go down like that. The next green is Spilled Tea. Oh, dramatic. When I first opened this package from Makeup Geek, the greens are what really stuck out to me. I'm a green lover, I can't help it. And oh, this is just everything. In my opinion, it doesn't always have to be super different and super unique. It's good to have just a well-trusted brand with great products with colors that you'll use, you know? And this is just, I mean, speechless. So gorgeous. There is the color Spilled Tea. The next shade is Enchanted Forest. Oh my goodness, it is so dark, which I love. <laughs> From far away, it looks black to me. And then when you get real, real close, there's a little green hint to it, but it still looks really, really black to me. If you were looking for an extremely dark green, I would probably layer this one and the one we just did together, or else I think this just looks black in my opinion, but super pigmented nonetheless. So there is the shade Enchanted Forest. All right, we're getting into the blues. This next shade is Blue Me Away. Whoa, so blue. I like that this is kind of more of like a dingier blue, as I would say. Like it's a little murky, like murky waters, but still vibrant. That's right up my alley. Super, super pigmented as they all have been. There is the shade Blew Me Away. The next shade is Seize the Day. Oh, super pigmented. I'm sorry, I know that's all I've been saying, but they are just really pigmented. I like that this one's a little deeper. It's actually deeper than it looks in the pan, at least to my eyes anyway. So, so, so opaque. That is gorgeous. I love that, a great smoky blue. So there is the shade Seize the Day. The next shade is Time Travel, a deep, deep, deep blue. Ooh, that is dark. I love how dark this is. Oh my gosh, I wanna use this one and the previous one together so badly. I haven't done a blue eyeshadow look in a long time because I don't know, blue eyeshadow, just like I never want to wear a blue eyeshadow look. It just seems a little tacky, but if you do it like the right way, it's pretty nice. That's amazing, super, super dark. Oh my God, the side of my face is destroyed with all this pigment. We're gonna have to switch up eyes here. I'm getting rough. <laughs> okay, getting into the purple row. This one is called Current Obsession. Ooh, this is gorgeous. I really like this one, which is a big deal coming from me because you guys know how I feel about purple. It's not my favorite, but this one is just so rich. Very, very pretty. A little Barney the Dinosaur, but he was kind of pretty. So <laughs> look at this purple. This one is called Curfew. Oh my goodness, I love this one. Super smoky. This is up my alley. It looks like really rich, like like a royalty type of shade, like a queen would be wearing. 
I don't know, something in this purple. Wow, that is so opaque. It is crazy. I love it. I really do. So there is the shade Curfew. Oh, this is so cute. This shade is called Eternally Grateful. <laughs> Oh my god, why do I like these purples? I don't like purple. And I know you guys keep telling me that I do like purple. I don't. I don't think I do. Do I? Ugh, it's gorgeous. I love how deep and smoky this one is. My goodness. And it's like sexy. I would love to do like a wing with this or something. Anyway, it's gorgeous. There's the shade Eternally Grateful. The next shade is called On Wednesdays. Ooh, I like this. I thought it was going to be a little brighter, but I really, I like the tone that it is. Super cute. Yeah. Don't have much to say about it, but it's cute. There's a shade on Wednesdays. The next shade is called Back to the Fuchsia. Oh my goodness gracious. This is amazing. This is so bold. Look at all of that color. Oh my god, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is probably in like my top five so far. I'm like destroying my face with all this color, but that is beautiful. I am kind of crazy obsessed with this shade. So that is Back to the Fuchsia. The next shade is called Wine and Dine. How cute. This one has like a little more, uh, what would I say? Maybe even a little more red in it. It's gorgeous. Wow, these like purpley tones have been just fantastic. This is beautiful. Oh, I have nothing else to say about it. It's gorgeous. There's the shade Wine and Dine. The next shade is called Tuscan Sun. Oh, I love this color. We're kind of in the peachy burgundy section now. Oh gosh, I love this color. It's so beautiful. It's a perfect salmon. I love that it's matte. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. There is the shade Tuscan Sun. The next shade is called Pinky Promise. Oh, I like this one. It's like a little bit deeper than the previous shade, but in that same kind of color family. And I kind of think I like this one a little bit better. Oh, I love it. That is gorgeous. So there is the shade Pinky Promise. The next shade is called Berry Shady. I, you know what? I I like this color. I wish it was a little richer. A little, I mean, it is vibrant. I don't know what I'm saying. I would love a color just like this, but with more of a pop. And it might be yet to come in here. We'll see. But it is a very pretty berry shade nonetheless. So there's the shade Berry Shady. <laughs> the next shade is called Peach for the Stars. Ooh, I love this. Super bright. Wow. I don't think I have many peaches that are like bright like this. Usually they're a little more creamy and a little more subtle. But this is like, whoa, gorgeous. That is Peach for the Stars. The next shade is called Staycation. Oh, wow. This doesn't make me think of like a vacation. It's kind of like grapefruity, super vibrant, very pretty. I like this color. This is the shade Staycation. The next shade is called Hot Tamale. It's not what I would have imagined when I heard the name or read the name Hot Tamale. This is more like a cherry or like a desserty type than a hot tamale. Like not enough orange in it. Not that that matters. That's not important at all. I think this should have been named like cherry something. Because it really is, it's like a cherry red. A little bit of burgundy in there. I'm sorry you guys, my eyelid's getting a little raw and I don't want to do it in this eye because this eye hurts from live swatches that I filmed a day ago, so, or two days ago, so I'm trying to just stay to this eye, but the skin's getting a little raw, if you haven't noticed. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty. So there is a shade Hot Tamale. Only three shades left, you guys, including this one. This one is called Chickadee. Nice orange. Wow, actually, I really like this orange because it's almost like a like a squash or like a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's not a traditional orange and I really love it for that reason. And it's just as pigmented as any of the other ones. Wow, the pigment here is fantastic. Uh, there is the shade Chickadee. This next shade is Morocco. Ooh, I love this one. I love how burnt it is. It's definitely like a burnt peachy color. It's funny, in the pan, I think a lot of the shadows look brighter than what they are on the eyes. I don't wanna say, they almost look lighter, I would say. They're still bright, but they're like a little, deeper, a little richer when you actually get them on the eye, which I really prefer, so I'm happy about that. And the very last shade, you guys, is Brick House. I haven't heard that song in a while. What does that mean, anyway? <laughs> oh, interesting. This is actually a little more muted than I thought it was going to be, and I like it for that reason. I actually think this is more unique. A lot of shades like this, these types of reds we see, they usually are much more vibrant, much more primary, but this, it, it almost is like a brick. It's a little rusty, a little toned down, but still in the red family, and I think that's pretty cool. I really like that. I think that's interesting. So there is the final shade, you guys, Brick House. 
By the way, don't mind my terrible hair today. <laughs> It was much cuter yesterday. But anyway, what do you guys think of these eyeshadows? For me, there really wasn't a bad one in the bunch. Believe it or not, and I'm shocked to say this, I think I, it's not that I preferred, but I really loved all the colors in this little neutral palette. Um, the brights were great too, but I think I was more in love with a lot of colors in this particular palette. But like I said, there really was not a bad shadow in the bunch. Quality is superb. If I had seen these, you know, unnamed, unbranded, unlabeled and tried them, I don't think my first guess as to whose shadows they were would be Makeup Geek. I think the quality is fantastic. And I know a lot of people don't care for square pans. For some reason, I really like square pans. So I think I'm kind of alone in that category. I did see some comments saying people weren't excited about the square pans. And I get that if you have other eyeshadows, like say if you have, you know, loose ColourPop shadows or other MAC shadows and you're trying to put them all in one palette, it does get annoying to have squares, so I totally get that. Um, but I really like the squares. I don't know why. But you guys, they were really good shadows. I'm really proud of Marlena. I'm proud of Makeup Geek Cosmetics. I'm excited to see what they have in store this year. And you can purchase these palettes themselves, these empty palettes, to fill your shadows in and everything like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I think they were fantastic and I'm excited to do some looks with these. It pretty much has everything I need. I will say the one thing that I want is a deeper black. That black was not dark enough for me. That's pretty much the only thing that sticks out in my brain of what I would change. I need a deeper black. And I'll also say, I think these are amazing foundation colors. Absolutely perfect. Like between these two palettes, you pretty much have everything you would want. I would love to see one more group of shadows of things we don't necessarily need, things that are a little more unique, a little more obscure, a little more like, huh, what kind of color is this? Like, and it's so hard to do that, I'm sure, these days, because I feel like, especially since ColourPop, we can't lie, ColourPop is, ColourPop has kind of changed the game, and they keep creating kind of mind-blowing things, and I don't know how they do it, I don't know how they do that magic, but I would love to see that same success and that same excitement around Makeup Geek. So I'm really hopeful for Marlena, I'm really hopeful for Makeup Geek. I am beyond excited to see what they come out with in the new year. I'm hoping some more fun, awesome stuff. I want blushes. I want lots and lots and lots of blushes, Marlena, please, and bronzers, please. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that is it for my live swatching video. Thank you if you stuck it out this whole time because it has been a long one. I want to let you guys know if you do plan on picking up anything from Makeup Geek Cosmetics, you can use my affiliate code that girl Shay XO. I will link it down below for you guys. That will get you 10% off your purchase, I believe. It is an affiliate code, so no pressure. Don't use that if you're not comfortable. That's totally okay. But if you want to, it is there for you to use. Thank you guys for watching. I know it was a long one. I appreciate it so very much. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.